Good morning, farm friends. I'm out here with my beautiful bride. Not here with my handsome husband. <laughs> <laughs> we realized that some of you may be new to the channel, and it's been a while since we just kind of introduced our channel, what we are, what we stand for. Yep. So, so, so go for it. when we started our YouTube channel, we realized that a lot of the things that we enjoy in life start with the letter F, and they're all good things. <laughs> so, farm, of course. And Alan's already introduced you to a lot of the farm animals this morning, our horses. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the sunrise this morning. But I'm going to give you a little tour of our horses and donkeys and mule here. This is Poco. He's about 24 years old which would be old for a horse, but mules can live to be about 30 to 40 years old. And so he, he's old, but not old for a mule. And he is so gentle and you've probably seen pictures of, or videos of Blake doing flips off of his back or whatever. He's just an amazing mule. So this is Poco. He's a, a male mule but castrated even though they're sterile you castrate them so they don't act like a stallion and think that they're a stallion this is salt she's our donkey that does all the live nativities she's just a sweetheart and uh, we love salt this is cisco and cisco's so friendly it's hard to get video because he'll want to be right with me but Cisco is about 10 months old, probably, maybe 8 months old. And he is so sweet. We want to train him to pull a cart and do some fun things like that. We need to brush him off. He's kind of shedding all over the place. We, we love our horses and our mules and our donkeys. We raise registered quarter horses. Seems like the freeway is louder in the morning. I don't know what it is. It's so still and quiet except for you can hear the vehicle so loud. I apologize. So let me go from left to right here. That's Rawhide. That's Blake's horse that he loves. We got him off the reservation. He's really muddy out here. We've irrigated and he's rolled in it. But Rawhide's probably about 15 years old. And he uh, he's just an amazing horse. And Blake can do anything with him. So he's a gilding. He's the horse that Blake was riding when Tim Anderson came to the farm. A world champion trainer. And uh, he's a buckskin roan, which is really cool. That was kind of neat, shading the sun with rawhide. This is Lex and her baby. And her baby is out of 66. 66 is my registered roan stallion that's, that goes back to Pepto Bismol on the top and bottom. She'll be a red roan. Right now she just looks like a sorrel, but all of 66's babies turn out to be roan. And so as she sheds off her baby hair, the white will come in and she will be a red roan. We love this little filly. She's beautiful, very straight legs and well put together. But she will be for sale, just I can't keep everything that I have. <laughs> there you go, girl. But, and Lex is about a seven-year-old registered quarter horse out of my old stallion, Mr. Come on. So, some of you will ask how much one like this is. A registered filly like this, as well bred as she is. I would maybe take 3000 for her right now, but as she gets older, I'll ask more, so. But she's something else. 
Then here's Chipper, and Chipper is is our uh, best horse. We've had her the longest. She's 20 years old. She's in full to 66. Okay. Okay, she is in full. Woohoo! Wrong stud call, I told you. And let's see right here. That is awesome. Okay, this this is the uterus right here. That's the fluid. Uh, the bladder is down here. Your baby's right on the bottom. This is, uh, this little guy's a long ways along, like two months. This is really That's close hard. to two months. That's okay, that little scorpion looking, dragonfly looking dinosaur right yeah. there. That little guy right there. That's your baby. We're, we were so excited that she got in full again. She's such an amazing mare. We want to get something to replace her. And we could replace her with something else, but it, it'll be fun to replace her with one of her own babies. And she's Casey's horse. And Casey just loves her and does so well with her. Good morning, Chipper. Chipper looks dang good for 20 years old. And she's in full to have a 2022 baby out of 66. Hi, Chipper. Then over here is Clementine. Clementine is a Bay Roan filly. She's a yearling. She's another registered quarter horse. And she's a beautiful, horse but I'm actually trading her for something that you'll see in the coming weeks so I'll just keep you hanging there we'll hate to have Clementine leave the farm she was born on the farm and she's a beauty Clementine why don't you give my luck here and the last horse that I haven't talked about this morning this is Penny and you could go back and watch the video of the horse I've paid more for than any other horse. Well, that's her. But I believe she's gonna be worth every penny. She's, goes back to Frenchman's Guy, as well as 66 that goes back to Peppa Buzmo. So she has world champions all over in her pedigree and she's just beautiful. She's a- Did you talk to him about rescuing horses? How we rescue horses? Nope. We'll tell you about that in a little bit but farm family faith friends freedom food fun Blake would say females and firearms <laughs> and firearms <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of the things that we enjoy are start with the letter F and we just wanted to share our life with you and the things that we enjoy we love having friends to the farm but we can't invite the world to the farm and this way we've been able to do so it's been really fun it's been kind of it's been amazing actually we first like vicky said we used to invite a lot of people to the farm and we still have friends to the farm all the time but you're limited on who you can invite to the farm plus the liability of having people ride horses or whatever on the farm but we thought you know what we could share our our love of animals and family and faith and freedom and food virtually and actually touch people everywhere and we never could have dreamed that we would have people watching from all over the world it's been so it's fun it's been so fun to have new friends we feel like we do have friends all over the world it's pretty awesome we hope that you'll enjoy our family and our our animals animals don't start with the letter f no but they're on the farm <laughs> but they're definitely on the farm and so. uh, mainly horses we have tons of horses that's kind of our niche. That's what we, we like to do. And so you'll see tons of horses come and go because I like to buy and sell horses. I like to rescue horses. I like to help, help them find new homes and better homes. But then I have my registered horses that I like to either keep or sell depending on what, what they are and what, what the, cause you can't keep them all. You, no, no, he can't keep them all. You guys tell him he can't keep them all. <laughs> it's impossible. Hay is expensive and it's no. going to be super expensive this, this winter. 
There was the droughts here in Arizona for years, and yet this summer we finally got lots of rain, but that's caused it so that they can't bale the hay, and so the hay prices are going way up, and then in, in the north, up in Utah and Idaho, they're in a bad drought right now, and so anyway, it's just made it, made it hard and expensive, so we hope that you'll enjoy the farm and our family, and what Show, a, showing the baby horse right now. Sounds good. So like this is a baby horse here on the farm. This one was just a week, a week or so old when I got her mama over here. We call her mama Beauty. But when we got Beauty off the reservation, she came with that baby that was about a week old. And so now the baby's about three months old. We got this lonely goat because it's the only goat that stays in the pasture. The rest of them have learned how to jump the fence. So, so this is my favorite goat because it, it doesn't get out. This is another baby horse that was on with a mare that we got off the reservation. Uh, we sold we sold the mama and to a, a girl named Candace and Candace has the mama riding really good and has provided an awesome home but they didn't want the baby around so we've brought the baby and we're gonna find a, a good home for this baby this little filly and then I'll take you over here since I hadn't showed you all the horses here at the house. This blue horse over here, and I called her a blue roan, but I think she's, she's a gray, but we call her Blue Bell. And we bought her off the reservation, and she's beautiful. She's standing on this hill. And Russ Marshall from California has bought her and she's headed to California next Wednesday but he wanted her trained and I didn't Blake and I didn't have the time so she went to Tinborn Farm and they trained her and she's done so well you can go to Tinborn Farm and watch videos of her being ridden but now she's headed to California what else do you have do we have to say hun so excited to have you guys as friends and i'm so excited to be married to this beautiful girl I so love you. <laughs> so come along with us and enjoy our faith family farm freedom and food <laughs> i try to get vicky to cook more often well no she cooks plenty for me but for you guys uh, she even has some cooking videos and so. she's like i'm not that good at it but hey those of you that have watched her cooking videos <laughs> love them so Here's Gold 66, and he's just coming about 15 months old and seems to be a farm favorite. When we've showed him, everyone's like, man, you gotta keep him a stallion and keep him on the farm. Come on. Oh, you scraped your eyeball, buddy. Darn it, we're gonna have to doctor it. It's just a, some hair brushed off, but we'll put some salve on that, so. Anyway, so this is Gold 66. He comes off of the Martin's Quarter Horses farm. And uh, you can check out some of our videos going up to Martin's Quarter Horses. They have the most beautiful quarter horses. And uh, we are so excited to have one of their babies that will probably stay here on the farm and be something we can breed the babies that are not, um, that are related to 66, to him. So he's sure a pretty boy, has a great disposition, and uh, I'm excited to see him grow up here on the farm. And if he gets ornery as a stallion, we'll just make him a gilding, but he's right now just doing a great job, so. 
last horse I'll introduce to you and we'll be in, um, introducing you to her and telling you a lot more about her in the future. But this is Lily. She's a 15 year old. She's registered and goes back to several world champions. And one of our YouTube friends actually gave her to us. Um, thank you, Betty. Tin Barn Farm picked her up for us on the way back from Good Simple Living. We are so excited to have her. She's a 15 year old mare. Come over here, so. There you go. And she's just a sweetheart. But we think we're going to keep her here on the farm and breed her to 66. She's 15 years old, but has never, she's a maiden mare, which means she's never had a baby. And sometimes when they're 15 years old and haven't had a baby yet, they're harder to get in full. But she is just awesome. She just got to us and she has tons of mosquito bites. And so we're going to work on getting her. Ouch. I know, I feel so bad for her. And where she, where she was being boarded, um, a horse had eaten or chewed her tail out. So she's got a few things to to get over. Her feet need trimmed. But Betty was doing the best she could. And and uh, keep Betty and her family in your prayers. Her husband had a massive brain bleed, and she's 70 years old now, and she just couldn't take care of her anymore. And so she gave her to us. And we're gonna try to provide her the best home she can possibly have. But we just love this mare and uh, think she'll just get healthier and better. And wouldn't it be awesome to see her have a baby out of one of my stallions one of these days. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the horses. What we have chickens on the farm. Oh, we also raised golden doodle, golden doodles. Um, Bella will be having puppies hopefully about the 15th of October, which makes it perfect for Christmas babies. So if anyone wants puppies for Christmas for their family, let us know. <laughs> yeah, these would be F1 Golden Doodles because Bella is a AKC registered Golden Retriever and Jasper is an AKC registered po uh, Standard Poodle. So yep. that means they're half and half and they're awesome dogs. So. They are, they're fun. So. I love having you out on the farm with me this early, especially looking this I know, this it's cute. 6 a.m. I'm usually not out here at 6 a.m. <laughs> hey, you look so cute. I, I, You always do, but I like having you out here on the farm with me. It's fun. It's a beautiful morning. All right. Well, I guess we got to get to work, though, huh? Yep. So we're going to introduce you to our family. Enjoy some of the fun, crazy things we've done on the farm. And I think Blake's coming. If he's driving that fast, he's in truck. No, I'm just kidding. I think that was someone else. <laughs> Actually, that's true. He's in the truck getting hay this morning, so he's yeah. out early as we well. We have great kids. Uh, not to brag, but they are awesome. Blake's out getting hay for us this morning because he knew it was a crazy day. And uh, so he's like, Dad, I'll go get hay. And anyway. We'll and it's almost back. Friday night lights again. Tomorrow we go to the valley for a football Tomorrow, game. Tomorrow, it'll be fun. Casey's still undefeated in softball. Yep, she's done amazing. That's a lot of fun. So, so you're going to meet our family today. Enjoy. We love you guys. We love new friends. So welcome to the farm if you're new. And God bless. Have a wonderful day and enjoy. Well, we've introduced to you our horses and some of our animals, but our favorite people on the farm are actually Blake and Casey. Yep. And once in a while we get our married kids and grandkids home too, and we'll introduce you to them. But let's introduce you to Blake and Casey. Most of you guys know Blake and Casey. That's true. <laughs> but well, if you're new, you've got to meet Blake and Casey. And, and Jasper, look at this. And if you've been following our channel, <laughs> then you don't mind talking to Blake and Casey. We're out here, it's dark. You can see the arena back behind us. And we got a fire going over here. That's kind of a fun feature here on our farm. That fireplace was actually in my grandparents' old house that burned down. And we brought it here to the farm and covered it with rocks. And anyway, this is one of our favorite places to gather on the farm. Yep, so we had a fun weekend with our entire family. It was awesome. We got to be with 
for the first time ever since our grandkids were born, all of us together. We'll show you some pictures right now. And it was just a really, really, really fun weekend. We should have thought to take more I videos, know. but we were We were making memories and I forgot Palmers to make take, memories. I forgot to take the pictures. <laughs> we have some values that we live by. Blake, you're being so goofy. <laughs> Hi guys. Uh, <laughs> so Blake. Anyways, real quick, we have some values that we live by and one of them is that Palmers make memories and we made memories this weekend. That was fun. Hey, let's make a memory. Oh, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> All right, here He's we go. Silly. So here's Blake and Casey. Hi. Casey, what are some of the things you love to do most? Um, I like high jump and track and softball. Volleyball. So softball, volleyball, and she's track. very crafty and an amazing cook. She can make the best homemade bread ever. And you guys should try it. Amazing with the nephews. You are. They are so lucky to have Aunt Casey. The nephews love Aunt Casey. How about you, Blake? What are your favorite things to do? Um, I enjoy a lot of sports, but I really love football. And I love spending time outside with the animals and with my family and friends. And just always having a good time. Awesome. Real quick on Blake. He likes football because he likes to hit people. Crazy, huh? Luckily, he doesn't hit anybody else at home. <laughs> but on the football field, he loves to hit people. <laughs> he actually did really, really good last night in the game. They won their first game and tore it up on the football field. It's awesome. He's a linebacker on defense, quarterback on offense, and he's also the kicker. So he gets yeah. to sit out on <laughs> kickoff <Yeah>. returns <laughs> and that's it. So, well, yeah. there you go. You got to know these two. These are our two favorite kids that live at home. <laughs> and uh, I'm hoping you ended that statement with just two favorite kids. <laughs> well, all four of my kids are my favorite and we have two great in-laws and some amazing grandsons. And Jasper, you're even all right. Oh, buddy. <laughs> So those of you that follow our channel, thank you. And those of you that are new to our channel, we hope you'll continue to watch. So hopefully we can continue to share with you our faith, family, farm, fun, food, freedom. And we feel so blessed to have these things in our life and uh, we hope you'll continue to come along. So if you like our channel, please hit the notification bell, uh, subscribe and have a good night. God bless everyone. See ya. Bye. Bye.